Welcome back, bookworms. This is Mrs. K. I'm glad you could join me. Today we're going to explore spring. Let's experience the magic of reading and find out how spring changes things for weather, people, plants, and animals as I read Exploring Spring by Terry D. Gazelle. New life. Spring is the season of new life. Animals have babies, flowers grow. In the northern hemisphere, the first day of spring is March 20th or 21st. Changing seasons. Earth spins on a tilted axis as it goes around the sun. Earth's tilt makes different parts of the planet point at the sun at different times of the year. Seasons change as different parts of Earth point at the sun. Spring begins as the Earth's axis just begins to point toward the sun. Daylight. In spring, the sun is higher in the sky than in winter. Daylight lasts longer. Temperatures start to rise and the air begins to warm. Water in spring. Winter snow and ice start to melt in the warm weather. Spring rain falls instead of snow. The wet ground is ready for new plants to grow. Trees in spring. In spring, sap flows inside tree trunks again. People tap maple trees for sap to make syrup. Tree buds open into leaves and flowers. Aww. Animals in spring. Spring brings animal activity. Bears come out of hibernation. Birds return from their winter homes and make nests. Baby animals are born. People in spring. After a cold winter, people are ready to be outdoors. Winter coats are put away and raincoats come out. Soccer and baseball practices begin. North and South. Spring in the Northern Hemisphere is fall in the Southern Hemisphere. As U.S. farmers plant crops in spring, Australian farmers harvest fall crops. <laughs> 